All right, so we're gonna do a little quick screener recap to show how we use it for our analysis, how we sort things, quickly find what we need, look for anomalies, things like that. You can always get to the data screener just by clicking on the second button over here where it says screener. It's always gonna be there at the header of the Sandbase platform. You can look at things like social volume, price changes, and of course the screener market cap or volume depending on how many assets you've selected. By default, there are no filters, so we're looking at all of the market cap and all of the volume, meaning in the past week, the market cap of crypto in general has gone down 3.6%, while the volume has risen in general by 18.8%. So let's say you want to add an infographic. You can see I have three of them selected here. And let's say I wanna add the price tree map and get rid of the social volume tree map. It's as simple as checking and unchecking. And now you've got a tree map with each uh, different asset here, color coded depending on its uh, high or low performance over the past one day. If I toggle to seven days or 30 days, it switches accordingly. I can also use this USD button and switch to percentage in ETH or percentage in Bitcoin or percentage in USD once again. You can do that same down here as well. And if we scroll down, we see a more traditional table that you may have seen on other data websites. And this is kind of the go-to resource to sort by any kind of category you like. And sometimes I see people mention that the categories are rather limited. Well, we literally have any category you can select. They're just kind of hidden away. And you need to use this little button with the three rectangles right here. And you'll see by default, all of the categories that are shown here in what's called the active column category. Let's say I am not interested in looking at development activity or daily active addresses. I'll leave market segments because I think that's good for the purpose of this exercise. I'll even get rid of volume and volume percentage. So if I apply this, we're suddenly left with much less information and all of the columns are very spread out here, but I wanna add a few and I wanna look at things like, we'll say whale transactions. And we'll just go by which assets have been seeing the biggest increase or perhaps biggest decrease in $100,000 plus transactions in the past day. That's the market close as of Monday compared to the market close as of Sunday. So I'm gonna apply that and you can see all the top caps with different whale transactions. As we go down, you'll notice some that show zero. That's because we don't have data on every single asset for whale transactions, but most of the top caps even though Bitcoin is not an ERC-20 Ethereum asset, it's still on here. And obviously we have Tether and things like that. But let's sort now. All I'm going to do is give it a single click and it's going to sort by largest to smallest. And it's going to be a lot of assets that you probably haven't thought of. Well, also a few that you probably have. Orion Protocol, the 626th ranked asset, which probably isn't on many people's radars, is getting a 1,200% increase in whale transactions. Render, 975% increase, and that's the 29th ranked asset in crypto, so that's pretty significant. Polygon slash Matic, 64th, as it continues to transfer its network over to POL. Pendle, the 98th ranked asset, also above 700%. You got the idea and you can just go down this list. This is just 24 hour changes. So it's a very short sample size. I also could select for comparison, I'll add the seven day and 30 day percent changes. So we get them all lined up here together. So for example, even though Orion is seeing a 1200% increase in the past day, it's only 300 ish percent in the past week and 576. That's actually pretty significant to cross a short, mid, and long-term time frame. Whereas, you know, Matic has actually slowed down its whale activity up until the past 24 hours. So that's something that can give you some pretty easy context when you're looking for where whales are most active. You, of course, have market segments, trading DeFi for Orion, cloud computing for Render as part of the AI and big data sector. Um, 
an Ethereum related asset slash Polygon asset for Matic, you get the idea. Now I can also go to this filter button and let's say I don't wanna have so many obscure assets. I just wanna to go to the market cap button here and only look at assets that are above, we'll say 2 billion. I believe that'll be under 100 assets total. So you'll see a change right here as it filters. And now it's only 84 assets because only 84 qualify as market caps that are over 2 billion. And I can go back down here and we don't have any more obscure assets like Orion anymore. It's only the top 84 market caps in crypto. So Render is of course still there, Tether, Uniswap, Mantle, but these are all pretty familiar names. And it's a really useful way to get some insights into what your favorite assets are doing at any given time. You can also sort by your own watch lists. So let's say you add your own portfolio. I'm just gonna go to my avatar here, open my watch lists in a separate tab. For PC users, I just use my middle click button to do that. And if I let this load for just a moment, actually I can, I can just do this. Um, you have all of your watch lists right here and you can always create a new one too, just by going to create screener, call it whatever, give it a description and hit create and you can actually include all of your favorite uh, assets. You can also create a watch list. So there's a slight difference there um, and either one is viable for this exercise. So basically if you, if you have like, let's say 10 assets in your portfolio or hundreds as I know some of you really like to go for it with different altcoins, um, just create a watch list and then if you go back to the screener and I go to the filter button, I can just click on one of these watch lists. So for example, I made some of these, let's say my portfolio is made up of the top 47 real world assets here. You see it loading. And now we're only looking at real world assets as part of our screener. So there are a lot of, it's actually interesting why, I think it's because most of these are non ERC 20s, but you get the idea. You can sort really any way you'd like and it, it can really help find what you need quickly uh, when you're looking for different opportunities to buy or sell out there. The screener is, is kind of home base for a lot of that. And you see us using the chart page a lot to illustrate divergences in specific assets, but for a, a whole kind of zoomed out look at the markets and finding different assets that maybe weren't on your radar, the screener is a great way to go. So it's highly recommended. Hope this was helpful, guys. Let us know what follow-ups you have, and we're happy to explain further. Talk to y'all later.